In the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, researchers from USF are doing a little night fishing. What is that, this far? A team of scientists and students spent seven years looking at what lies beneath since the 2010 Deepwater Horizon environmental disaster. We found a big contrast in the types of species that exist in the Gulf just because the environmental conditions are different. Uh, and we've also taken an enormous number of samples to look at oil contamination. BP settlement money partially paid for the researchers' work, and they've made some surprising discoveries. One of the things that uh, was kind of surprising to us is the predominant species that we find in the Gulf are actually sharks. And so we've got uh, some like, something like 30 different species of sharks that we've uh, encountered in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's not all. In the northern Gulf, where deep water was, uh, we've seen the contamination levels going down. Uh, in other parts of the Gulf, um, they're either uh, slightly contaminated or in some cases even more contaminated and so so there's a real contrast uh, all over the Gulf in terms of uh, the baseline of oil contamination. Exploration in hopes of avoiding another disaster. And so if we're going to allow you know drilling in those highly sensitive areas we need to know what's there we need to know how it's contaminated now and we need to know what kind of policy should we put in place to reduce the likelihood of an accident and actually respond better in the, in the event of a, of a deep water spill there.